let's move to the first, third topic that is the qualities of a good salesman as personal selling revolves completely around the salesman there are certain prime qualities which a salesman need to possess so as to make the entire personal selling a very effective and an efficient technique under that the first one is physical quality second being social qualities third being mental qualities fourth being technical and certain additional extra qualities under the physical qualities the basic qualities required to be a good sales person is to have good health and a pleasing personality that is nobody would want to see somebody who is not very well in shape or in good health nobody would want to entertain such a person second a person who is wanting to be a sales person has to have self confidence if you do not have confidence in yourself you can never sell your product or persuade the buyers to buy it third you have to be well built and free from physical defects in terms of your sensing in terms of hearing in terms of your speech next good grooming appropriate dressing and tidy appearance with a good posture are a necessity to be a good sales person nobody would like a shabbily dressed person walking into their house or a shabbily dressed person walking into their showroom explaining about any product nobody would even entertain them in the first place and finally a smile that is a cheerful smile does all the work cheerful smile shows that you have a pleasing personality and it automatically creates interest and induces the other party if nothing else to hear you in the first place second being the social qualities here we are basically talking about the sales person having certain good manners and courteous in dealing with the customers in no way can you be arrogant or be aggressive beyond a point with the customers the customers might not be in a good mood or might not even be interested in the first go that will by no chances let us to lose our cool and comfort and be aggressive and non courteous with our customers we have to still maintain a posture and be an extrovert and a good listener with the customers because if you are not an extrovert that is you are not able to speak up or induce the buyer to listen to you the whole personal selling will go for a toss in a sense of good listener you need to even hear the problems that the buyer has probably faced with the initial sales or is not able to understand about your product you cannot be a sales person and only talking and not listening to the other person's point of view next you need to have polite expressions which is yet again an extension of having a cheerful smile and not have a frustrated look on your face if your previous attempts of meeting other buyers have not been turned out to be successful yet every customer has to be dealt with as if they are a fresh brand new customer the frustrations or the problems of the previous customer should not be reflected onto the new one and you should always practice of greeting and thanking the customers no matter if they've been converted as your potential clients or not irrespective because they will still be your potential customers in future next being mental qualities high degree of intelligence initiative and foresight is required to be a good sales person intelligence and imaginative enough to understand the customer quickly and read his mind accurately also to be able to respond quickly to the queries or any kind of questions which the buyer may pose on to you empathy and ego drive are the two additional mental qualities required empathy means he must have the ability to understand the problem from the customer's point of view and not talk only from the seller's point of view and ego drive means salesmen must pursue sale not just for the money but for recognition and even for personal success that is you should have a personal drive towards your effort of selling and not look into it as only a work which you need to finish it off by selling the product next is the technical quality the salesman must have enough and complete technical knowledge about the product its features its application use and what differentiates it from the competitor's product without having this kind of a knowledge the other qualities will make no sense you could be as pleasing as you can be you could be the most courteous person on earth 
and also you could be the having the biggest intelligence and imaginative thought but if your product knowledge does not stand as per the requirement of the buyer all the other qualities falls for a toss finally certain additional qualities required to be a good salesman is must have a good power of memory and observation in terms if it is your second visit to a customer or it's your after sales service you should be able to recall about your previous encounter with the same client second a salesman must be honest and should not try to win the customer through false and misleading representation well certain amount of coating and sugar coating is always required however the basics should never be falsified to the buyer because as already said we are not just selling the product once to the customer but what we are looking at is brand loyalty we are looking at repeat sales from the customers next a salesman must be a man of sound character loyal and dependable he must perform his duties sincerely since a salesman's job is very independent and more to do with himself the managers or his supervisors do not supervise his day to day work hence he has to be a person of sound character in terms that not misuse the company's resources and waste its resources next the salesman must have a wide knowledge about the product he is selling and the company he is representing that is he could be selling only one product of the company that is x but he should also have detailed knowledge about all the other product offerings and the product lines of the company also about the various branches and the various offices about the company next he must have the capacity to inspire trust that is he should be able to gain the trust and the confidence of the buyer into the product and also into the company even if that does not lead to immediate purchase it will definitely lead into keeping and getting a mind of the customer onto a product and to a company